Hi everyone, welcome back to the Martial Arts Flexibility Channel. My name's Cameron and this is part of our Beyond Grappling Mobility Month series and today we're talking about the horse stance. So you might be thinking, I want to get flexible, why am I going to horse stance? I'm not training Kung Fu, what's going on here? And I, it's a fair question. <laughs> but the, the horse stance, and last time we've done our long lunge, so we've, we've looked at our kind of our front split progression. The horse stance is the perfect entry point and foundation setting for your side splits. Uh, it, it requires strength and flexibility of the adductors, uh, your glutes, and it's going to build a ton of tolerance in those areas as well. And you can graduate, it's a really safe way to start training for your side splits to build the strength along the way. So let's get into it. All right, so how do we start with the horse stance? Well, there's really three main progressions that you want to look at. Number one is three step, then a five step, then a seven step progression. And if you can hold a seven step progression in the horse stance, as you'll see, that's some significant distance that you're covering. And you'll see that how that translates to your side split. But as far as the steps go, how do we do that? Pretend that I'm about to start a Kung Fu form. Our feet are together and we go heels, toes, heels again, and then we even things up and that's our three steps. Now, toes can be pointing straight forward or turned slightly out. You don't want too far out. Turn slightly out is going to, to give you the greatest effect or depends on how comfortable your knees are. You may need to turn them out a little bit more uh, based on your knees. The hips, in, in a martial arts horse stance, a lot of people will tilt the pelvis under this way. And, but what we want here is to anteriorly tilt the pelvis. So we're talking about kind of that twerk position as it's more commonly known. One, two, three. And to tilt the pelvis and then we simply descend into our horse stance. And really, just hang out. You can do your Kung Fu hands, you can do whatever you want with your hands as long as you don't rest them on your knees, because that's cheating. So, we're just going to hang out here for time. And this is our starting point. Make sure that our pelvis is tilted under, knees pushed out, and this kind of just resembles a wide squat, which is, you see how it translates from a strength perspective. And then we're just hanging out here for time. Now, for immediately, if you can't go that low, you just go to whatever depth you can go to. Maintain the correct, get your pelvis set down, knees out, and if this is as far as you can go, you build it here because you're still going to get that, build the strength and the tolerance in your adductors and in your glutes. And then the lower, lower, and lower you go. You can also, so again, similar to the long lunge as we talked about last time, you can, this is just holding for time. It's just spending time in this position. Uh, you can also pulse in and out of it. So you can set, set your pelvis, one, two, three. One, two, three. Try and get lower each time you go down. One, two, three. And you can start to build some more tolerance there. You can also add weight. So you can grab yourself a kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever it is, and do what we call like horse squats or horse stance squats. And that will also help to drive you into that position because obviously your weight's going to push you down further and further but as I say only, only start with what you can do build strength in that range that you've got and then gradually increase it and increase it and increase it now what's an ideal depth well really we just want to get the hips below parallel because once you can get your hips below parallel with the correct hip position and build the strength there, that's all you need. You don't need to go too much lower than that. Best way to judge is to get a stick. So we're in our three steps, hips back, squat down, and we rest the stick on our thighs. If it rolls off, guess what? I'm not low enough. 
Down a bit further, the stick sticks. And that is where we want to base our depth off. So as I mentioned, we want to build time in these positions. So really, if you can build up to 60 seconds or two minutes in that position and feel comfortable with that level of strength, you're probably free to move out a bit further. One key is for when we're moving out, because we've got a three step and our five step, there's something you need to do between the three step and the five step that's different. And the first thing is you go one step, two step, three step, four step. And between the fourth and the fifth, we're actually going to set our pelvis and drop, then into the fifth step and even our heels up. So that's our five step stance. Hips back, knees out. And that's the one important thing between a three and a five step is just dropping down, setting your hips and dropping down after that fourth step. So again, as we talked about last time in the long lunge, programming wise, this is a strength exercise. So it's gonna eat into your recovery for other elements. Once or twice a week, build up. I know I said up to two minutes before, um, you look up horse stances and everyone has kind of a different, uh, a, a different stance on the programming. Godfather of Stretching, Thomas Kurtz, looks at two minutes. Ido Portal looks at five minutes. Uh, both credit the horse stance with unlocking their side splits. But I would suggest once you build strength and comfort in, this, in the range, whether it's a three, five, seven, once you build strength and you're getting your hips below parallel, you can feel free to move further on. Obviously, never work through pain. You want to make sure that it's not, I was to say you want to make sure you're comfortable. It's never going to be comfortable because it's a horse stance. Uh, but you want to make sure that there's a level of competency, that you're not moving forward if you feel weak because you can't build strength in a weak range. It's going to be really difficult for you to do. So, once or twice a week, build up to 60 seconds to two minutes and progress your range further and further out. As always, any questions, comments, feedback, drop a note below. I'll be sure to answer as many as I can. Uh, look forward to seeing you next time and thanks for watching.